Now, it's a story that almost seems uh, too unlikely to be true. A fisherman sets off from the Mexican coast but gets lost at sea. Over a year later and thousands of miles away, the fisherman, Jose Salvador Alvarenga, turns up on the Marshall Islands in the middle of the Pacific Ocean. He claims to have survived his 13-month journey by drinking turtle blood and his own urine to stay alive. Well, I'm joined now via Skype by Jack Niedenthal, who's a filmmaker on the Marshall Islands and who's spoken to Mr. Alvarenga. Do you believe him? Uh, in a word, yes, and I can say categorically that when he first washed up on the shore and I started hearing the story, I was very skeptical, but having having seen him and talked to him yesterday, having filmed him getting off the boat, um, I really think that this man went through an ordeal. You described some of the issues he had with being at sea for so long, but this is not somebody working an agenda or trying to perpetrate a hoax. This is a simple fisherman from Mexico who spent a long time at sea and has an incredible tale to tell. What sort of shape was he in? Well, when we first saw him, when we got off the boat, I think some of the people saw, actually saw some of the images that I shot and thought, hey, this guy looks big and healthy, and um, how could he ever been at sea? But the issue he had, he was very bloated, and his face was bloated, and his arms and hands were bloated, and to me, he didn't look healthy, and he had a big baggy sort of shirt on that made him look heavy. Well, when we went and filmed him yesterday after being in the hospital overnight, he had IVs and fluids and being back in civilization with people he can actually talk to. He spoke Spanish, but we have a number of Spanish-speaking people here. He started to really go from that survival mode, which I imagine he was in for a long time, to, okay, I'm back to reality. I have to start thinking about myself and my future. And you could see him even over the course of the interview just his personality changed and he he seems to be in pretty good spirits but on the other hand you can see him lapse back into oh my god I can't believe what I was just going through uh, his uh, original story of going off he was going off on a fishing trip I believe wasn't he but it wasn't he with a friend where is the friend well what happened is he told us the story um, and, it, and this got jumbled around in the media but he told it to us directly from, a, from his own lips yesterday. They had been at sea for about four months uh, into this journey, about four months, and he had a young man with him. He's not really sure of the young man's age, 15, 16, 17 years old. And what they had been doing to that point to survive, they were eating raw birds and a lot of their diet was raw birds and a turtle if it would bump up against the boat they would flip the turtle on the boat and eat that raw occasionally they could catch fish and what happened was this young man every time he would go to eat one of these raw birds he would vomit because the smell was just overwhelming he couldn't do it and he was having a lot of time eating any kind of raw food and after a while he just refused and eventually he died and according to jose he he flipped him off the boat, you know, put him into sea after he had died. But when he talked about this particular event in the interview, it, you could see the remorse come over his face. This was something that really, um, you know, it's starting to sink in the whole reality of his journey, I think. And he, he, he started when he'd talk about this young man. It was a really hard thing for him to talk about. Thank you very much for joining us. Thank you.